Welcome and thank you very much for checking out my review of Emma, the latest Jane Austen adaptation to hit the screens, directed by Autumn de Wilde and starring Anya Taylor-Joy as the title character. The film is set in 1800th England and we follow a well-meaning but selfish young woman as she meddles in the love life of her friends. I was not familiarized with the novel, nor was I familiarized with apparently previous versions that already were adapted from the book in TV and film, so this was all new to me. Anya Taylor-Joy gives a fantastic performance, as I knew she would. She's full of charm and wit. The dialogue is all around sharp. It's very funny at times. Bill Nye especially being the scene stealer, but everyone does a good job. I also gotta give props to Miranda Hart, who has some of the funniest lines in the movie and some of the funniest moments, but really all around everyone has these lines that you just remember. They are very cleverly written. And the cinematography is really well done as well. It's extremely aesthetically pleasing to look at this film throughout the entire runtime. The costume design is spectacular as well, the set design too. And unfortunately, that's all around what I have to say. This is not one of those films that I really disliked, but I thought it was very jumbled. Structurally speaking, this film is very uneven. For the first half of the film, there is this bunch of miniature scenes that just jump around from character to character and you're being introduced to a lot of characters that, as I've said, are funny and charming in their way, but you don't really get to know them. And it feels more like this film is jumping very fast and that this would be much better adapted as a TV show, or at least a TV miniseries of like six episodes. It's not until Callum Turner, who is more used as a plot device than anything else in this film, it's not until he comes in that this film kind of finds room to breathe, and the second half flows much better. In terms of pacing, I really thought the first half was hard to follow. It was convoluted in what it was trying to do. It was not easy at all to keep track of everyone that was introduced and everything that was going on. But once Callum Turner comes in and he is presented, the story flows much better. Even then, one of the problems that I already had in the previous half, besides what I've already spoken about, also continues into the second half and continues in the entire movie. As I've mentioned, everyone does a good job performance-wise. The cinematography looks great, the set design, the costume design, but story-wise, it's a movie that feels very soapy, and I don't mean soap, like what you rub in your body to wash yourself. I mean soap opera. It's very soapy. It also feels very inconsequential. I'm not going to spoil anything, but the conclusion that the film comes into, the conclusion that certain characters come into, really doesn't change a lot either way. And it also doesn't affect the lives of anyone either way. It almost feels like the film is absent of stakes. It's trying to be funny, it's trying to be charming, and that's all fine, and that works for the film. But in terms of what is at stake, what do these characters have to win or to lose, it doesn't feel that heavy, you don't feel any concern for them. There is one scene that engaged me so much, but it was done, just like that. It's a scene that is funny, it's heartbreaking, almost gets on your emotion, and gets on your nerves, putting yourself in those characters' position. You understand all the viewpoints in that scene, but it's one scene in a two-hour movie. I'm not sure how this is similar or very different from the novel or from other adaptations. If you're interested, I definitely think you should check out Emma. To me, it just came across as something that I saw, but it really didn't engage me all that much. I'm giving Emma a C minus. Now what did you think of Emma Barbie Duffel Geekies? Do you like this version better than the other ones? Do you like the book better? Let me know your thoughts on the previous versions, on this version, and on the book if you've read it in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with my reviews for Call of the Wild, The Jesus Rolls, Brahms, The Boy 2, and many others. I hope to see you there. And so until then, stay beautiful, stay geeky, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video because it really helps me and the channel out. But most importantly, above everything else, forever and always, Love each other and love the movies. <laughs>